Hi, welcome to another fingernail fixer video. This is a request from the CND website, cnd.com, in the nail art gallery. This design is called Argyle, and I have started off as per the step by steps with CND brand shellac in strawberry smoothie. I've done two coats, each coat has been cured. Now I'm going to come in and do a couple stripes with Tropics. I just have a small square shaped brush. I'm going to work a little bit of shellac into the brush and then make three diagonal stripes across the nail. And in the picture, these are fairly sheer, so I'm not going to worry about solid, total, complete coverage. I just want to make sure that I don't have hard lines on the edge. So I'm just going to kind of come in and feather a little bit with the brush where the shellac rolled off the sides of the brush to make sure it's not a hard line. Then I'm going to come in and do a second stripe down the center. Again, just kind of go ahead and establish the stripe. And then you can come back in and kind of feather out the line to make sure you don't have that hard line from where the shellac rolls off the edge of the brush. And just gently feathering. And that also gives the stripe a really neat texture to come in and feather that line away from the edge. And I've just picked up a little bit more shellac to make sure I can feather all the way up to the other side of the stripe so that I've got good color. And I've got the line from drawing the stripe across as a guide. And I need just a little bit more down in this corner here. I'm going to make a third stripe. Lay it in. And then come back and feather the shellac away from the edge. So that it gives my stripe color, as well as making sure there's not that hard line that could potentially wrinkle because it's thicker than the rest. Once I've got this in place, I'm going to set it in the lamp, cure it for two minutes. I've got a little bit on the epinicium, so I'm just going to take a stylus and clean that up before I cure. This is ready to go in the lamp now for two minutes. You can clean your art brush with a little bit of 99% pure isopropyl alcohol. Then we're going to come in with some hot chilies in CND brand shellac. Using that same square brush, I'm going to go in the opposite direction with the stripes right across the tropics. I'm just going to kind of make the stripes a little thicker. And then once I have them in place, I'm going to come back with the brush the same as I did with the tropics and kind of feather the shellac so you get that softer stripe and don't have any hard lines. I'm going to clean my brush off in a little bit of 99% IPA and come in with shellac in hot chilies. Did I say tutti frutti on the first stripe or did I accidentally say hot chilies? The first stripe is tutti frutti just in case I said it wrong. Oops. The second stripe is hot chilies. 
And I'm going to do the same thing I did before and soften out that line. There's not a huge contrast between the hot chilies and the tutti frutti. Just enough to be noticeable in the person, especially once the sun hits it. Now if you get one of your stripes a little bit unsmooth or uneven, you can come in with your brush and a little bit of IPA and clean it up to smooth your line back out. Also remember if you get any on the skin, you want to make sure and remove that before you cure. Now that I have those two stripes in place, I'm going to cure that in the lamp for two minutes. The final part of the argyle nail is making stripes in C&D brand shellac using cream puff. I'm going to use a small striping brush. The trick to using a striping brush is to work some shellac up into the brush and not have a ball of it on the brush. So you can see there's literally shellac worked up in that brush versus something like this where you would have a ball of polish on the brush. Then I'm going to take and create small white stripes through the center of my larger stripes. Another trick with the striping brush is not to use a lot of pressure. When you use a lot of pressure with the striping brush, it tends to go off to the side. It also tends to make the line thicker. So to make sure you have that nice thin line, you want to use a very soft gentle touch with the striping brush. And Don't be afraid to go back in, just make sure you're using your balance point positioning so that you can go back over without getting a blurry line. Now if you're nervous about ruining this first set of lines when you do the second set, you could go ahead and lock those into place for 10 seconds and then come back and do the lines going the opposite direction. I'm going to go ahead and do my lines in the opposite direction and you're just pulling those right through the center of your other stripes. And when I'm doing lines all the way across the nail in a direction that's awkward, I tend to work from side towards the center so that I have more control over the brush, as well as finding a way to balance the hand that I'm polishing with to give my hand more stability and a better likelihood that my lines will be straighter. And it is okay if you need to, to cure that for two minutes and go back over it with the white again to get a more solid white. Do what you need to to achieve the design. Once I have the whites in place, we cure that for two minutes. You could of course use more stripes if you wanted to make the pattern a little tighter. You could go in and add dots inside of your diamonds if you wanted to add a little bit of detail. You could also go in and put some blingy pieces, we all love some bling, or even a little bit of glitter over the top of that. Once you're finished, it looks the way you like, make sure you cure it, add shellac brand top coat, cure that for two minutes, clean it off with 99% isopropyl alcohol and you're good to go. I hope this helps and have fun with the argyle.